here are my two USBs this is USB 1, this is how it looks and this is USB 2 I copied this files on the root and on this folder just in case it can't find the files let me see this one is formatted to NTFS and this one was formatted to FAT32 Okay, I changed some files. One is here in this part files, the win part. Change this from 4000 to 5600. And I changed the startnet file. What I did here is I hit Control F. And I searched for everything that says install path. What you need to do here is everything that says install path, like right here you need to replace with the drive D and the way I did is I hit control F type in install path and then click find next and once you find it you just highlight it and type in D colon and then click next and keep doing that I already did it so as you can see here there's I changed that here too everywhere everything in there that had install path I switched it to D then just save and now we move on to the Chewy okay so next we have to uh, start the Chewy VI10 into BIOS mode. You do that by holding the power and the volume up key together. At this point you can let go of the power button but keep holding the volume up. Alright, now you can let go. Once you're here, I'm using a keyboard. Just use the arrow keys to select this option right here. The one that says boot from file. And click enter. And make sure you select the Windows, your first USB. This is mine right here. I named it Windows 8 P1 when I formatted the drive. Remember this one is FAT32. Once you select that, hit, hit the enter key. Then go all the way to the bottom, select boot mgr.efi and click enter. Once you see the command prompt, make sure you hit Control C so it cancels the process. You'll have, you'll have this message saying terminate batch, say yes, then click enter. As you can see, it shows there that you're in drive X, we need to be in a different drive. We need to be to drive E, which should be my USB my USB drive 1 
type in disk part and then list volume this way you can see which what is the name of your drives so I have here my windows um, my USB 2 is has letter C and my USB 1 has letter D um, USB 2 has to be D because that's what I changed it in the on the file name startnet that CMD so I'm gonna select first my USB 1 which is here volume 4 select volume Four. You can say volume four is the selected volume. Then type in the command assign letter E equals E. So it's gonna change my USB 1 to letter E and then we'll switch USB 2 to letter C. So hit enter. To list volume. As you can see, volume 4 switched to E. Now we need to change C to D. Select. Volume three. Then assign letter equals to D. Enter. Okay, one more thing we need to do is we need to switch the drive that says images. We need to assign letter M to that one. So select volume 2. Hit enter. Then assign, type in the command assign letter M then hit enter. Now if we list the volumes one more time we should have M, D and E. Again USB 1 should be letter E or and then USB 2 should be letter D and images drive should have the letter M. The images drive should be volume 2 so now exit this part, exit, go into drive 1 which is E, so E colon then enter, so you can see now we're in drive E and type in start net that CMD. then hit enter from here on it should install everything it's gonna take a couple right now it's copying stuff from the D drive to the M drive this is gonna take a while so I'm gonna stop the video and come back Okay, so if it was successful, it should start saying apply an image. And then 100%. By the way, it was like a few hours before it finished, mainly because my USB is pretty cheap. So it doesn't transfer data as fast. But as you can see, it's gonna say deployment complete, tap exit from the command. So we'll do that right now. Then click enter. Just 
and it should put up I'm gonna stop the video here and return a little bit okay so here we are and you can see that touch is working look at that nice and in English here's the grand finale so let's test this out Ta -da. All right guys, if you need help with anything, just comment below, give me a thumbs up, and like this video.